intruder. Identify yourself. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? I'm the <laughs> target. Identify. <laughs> Order has been restored. 
Oh, I hope the scanner module you found does the trick. Is... Is this a friend of yours? Who... Who are you? You seem... So familiar. Well, you look exactly the same. I never believed... <laughs> I wondered who picked up my beacon. Well, I'll be damned. Emerson? Dr. Emerson Hale. Is that... Is that you? Welcome. Back to Earth. I guess. Welcome to Appalachia. I don't even know what to say. I never expected to see you here. My ship crashed a while ago, and I was fortunate to find someone who took me in. I'm trying to find my crew, but I've had some horrible headaches. So, you're staying at this, uh, place. I guess you really decided to jump into modern Appalachian life, huh? I didn't mean to be offensive. Your home is... fine. I'm not creative in that way. I mean... I squat in an old military base right now. I hope your good Samaritan here has helped you out with more than just a place to, uh, crash. He has helped me out quite a lot already, actually. Brought back a USSA beacon, and also took care of some hostile robot. I see. Well, is there anything I can help with while I'm here? Supplies? Medicines? Questions, I guess? Sure is. For a while, I had hoped I could contact somebody else to monitor the deep sleep mission until uh, we could figure something out. They weren't in the escape capsule, I take it? Well, that is unfortunate. They could have survived, though, right? Maybe. I've heard a couple scavengers say that parts of the ship have already been scrapped. Same goes for any other ship debris. Best to just move on. It's honestly shocking that you survived as it is. I'm serious. My best guess probably ran out of fuel and the autopilot guided it to the nearest USSA facility. Oh, what does it matter? She lived! What a miracle! There's a bunch of them out there. Seems that their algorithms got scrambled or something. Who can say? They used to come after me, but it seems like they have a higher priority target now. Expand your scanner to look for signatures at a constant speed. That should pick them up. They aren't that complicated. So this is just gonna happen all the time? <sighs> Thanks for the tip, I guess. That's good. I'm glad you're making friends already. I am too. So much has changed. I mean, you know better than most. Care to catch me up to speed? Ha! <laughs> uh, that will be quite the chat. You've missed a lot. And I still don't really get what happened either. But that's a talk for... another time, perhaps. Anyway, look, I need to go. I'll be back another time and we can chat some more. Okay? Okay, Emerson. <sighs> Dear Emerson, my friend and I have a signal to track down. Looks like it might be some ship debris. So come back later, if you want to know what we found. Mm-hmm. Bye now. Okay. I've got to admit, I was kind of hoping you'd find my... Unstoppable's collection in that crate. Oh well. It was an Assaultron, huh? Probably one of the old USSA robots. Strange. I would have figured they would all be in standby mode now, but... 
I need to know for sure. I, I found some wreckage from the rest of the ship that has one of their suit beacons. Maybe all of them are there. Can you go and see what's there? It might just be empty wreckage, but I need to know. Yes, I believe the other crew members were in a separate part of the ship. The signal moved a bit. Could be survivors, could be scavengers. What are the chances they also ran into a benevolent Appalachian survivor who invited them to live in a charming wilderness abode? If you do find them, then we'll have to make room for them here, right? Uh, bunk beds, maybe? There would be three others, you know. It's possible that you won't find anything there. It might just be rubble, or maybe it's been scavenged by animals. It's hard to know. In the meantime, I picked up an issue of the Unstoppables from a visiting trader the other day. Eh, maybe it'll help me relax. Yeah, of course! The Unstoppables, Silver Shroud, all of that. Mistress of Mystery was my favorite, of course. I was hoping that the new television show for the Mistress of Mystery would be out when I returned, but I guess not. I wish I knew. My ship's robots certainly didn't care about me at all. It didn't even check on me, and I know it saw me. He used to work with me at the USSA. Seems like he started working elsewhere after I went to space sometime. I never expected to see him here, but... Uh, I never expected to be in Appalachia, either. It makes me wonder about why my ship crashed here, you know? I, I know it had emergency landing protocols to take it somewhere near certain USSA sites, but... I don't know. I never thought I needed to know. For an hour, maybe. Just before getting into our deep sleep pods, the Earth was stunning. Hanging there, alone, in the void of stars. Oh, I felt like I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. But also, I didn't want to. Roger. Stay safe out there. Presence detected near Mount Blair train yard. Rioting will not be tolerated. Whole right mining company protection protocols have been engaged. Security units on site. All unauthorized personnel are advised to immediately leave the area or else risk dire consequences. This will be your only warning.
Oh, hey. Good to see you again. So... That's it, then. They're gone. Thank you for... Uh, for looking into this. And... for... for being a friend. It means a lot to me. So, let's intercept one of the USSA robots that's heading this way. I want to know why they're doing this. I've pinpointed one of them using Emerson's tip. So, let's start with this one. Looks... similar, but might be a different type. The strange thing is... Its mobility patterns are very similar. It was heading towards us, and then it turned around and went to this location, and stayed there. I think Emerson was right. It just seems like they have corrupt targeting data or something. Not right now. Not really. I'd rather just keep busy for a bit. I'll monitor it here and see if anything about its signal changes radically. I'm wondering if it shows signs of expecting this confrontation. I could get used to it here. Thanks for taking me in. It means a lot. Seems like this robot only popped up on the scanner when the other one was destroyed. Not sure what that means yet. When you were out the other day, I tried to shoot some sort of giant insect. Took... a lot longer than I thought. I'm working on it, though. Oh, sure. Uh, let's see... I don't really want to talk about my family, because... Well, I don't even know if they... Okay, so... hobbies. Um... I had a small apartment near the USSA headquarters. Nothing special. I, I wasn't home much, you see. When I had time, I used to go to the comic book shop down the road. And sit and drink coffee, read the latest issues of The Unstoppables. <laughs> I used to want to work for the Mistress of Mystery when I was a kid. But... I did the next best thing, I guess. Went to space. Sure. <laughs> Maybe that will help with the pain. Uh, Dr. Bernard was our engineer. Worked exclusively on the sleeping pods. Very by-the-books type guy. Specialist Novak had been on a few missions before this one. Always seemed distracted. But, well, it was a stressful mission. Dr. Lee was our ship's engineer, and a robotics expert. <laughs> we all went out to celebrate the night before liftoff. It feels like it was only yester... yesterday. I guess it doesn't matter if it feels like it was only yesterday. It was a long time ago, and they're gone. We really do. In this world, it's hard to imagine how anybody can survive all alone anymore. I'm glad I don't have to be alone. And I'm very glad that I'm here with you. 
I'll be here, friend. <laughs>